Okay, before I continue, I'm going to grab the fins and I'm actually going to move them back a little bit because I don't like how close to the mouth uh, this connection point is. So I'm going to fix that right now. Now in order to make sure that both um, the left and right fins move together, I'm going to grab the fin instance, which is the right side, and I'm going to parent it to the main fin. So that way they'll all move together. And then to move it straight back, I need to hit uh, reset axis, and then I can move it straight back. And I'll grab the main body and I'll move this connection point to match that. Now at this stage, we're going to want to do something to our main body mesh. Now you see here in our Vox tree, it has a little V next to it. That means that it's a voxel object. That means that we're using voxels, which gives us a lot of abilities that we don't have with regular polygon models. As you might be aware, we can create structures like this completely freeform and not have to worry about any topological restrictions, but sculpting, especially detail sculpting, is a lot more difficult with voxels than it is with a regular surface model. Let me try and demonstrate that. So if I grab a kind of a square alpha, which is very common for the build brush when you're sculpting, but you see if I start sculpting like this and create something like that, and then I want to say sculpt something here in the corner. You'll see how that brush kind of adds both to the flat area and to the raised area equally, and we haven't really filled out that corner. We've just moved, we've just raised it a little bit. So if I wanted to actually fill that out with this tool, I would need to sculpt a little here, a little there, shrink my brush, sculpt again, smooth it all out, and it still wouldn't look perfectly smooth. Alternatively, if I click on the V and I change this to a surface model, we get a whole new set of tools here, the surface tools. And now if I try to draw on that, it's a little sensitive. But that'll actually start to fill out a bit more nicely, especially with some of the other tools we have here, like like build up. So if I start to draw right there, granted we can see sort of the stretched topology, but if I start to sculpt in this area, you'll see it smooths out very nicely. Much easier to work with than trying to sculpt in voxel mode. So when it comes to doing detail work, this is the mode we're going to be relying on. Alright, so now that we're here in surface mode, we can take a look back at our reference and sort of try and decide something that we want to, some detail that we want to start mimicking. So I'm going to be taking a look at this guy first. And I'm just going to start doing sort of median forms, kind of focusing on the back. And then for this, whenever you're doing detail work, it's a good idea to keep uh, symmetry turned off. When it comes to details, nothing in nature is perfectly symmetrical. So I'll just come in here and I'll sculpt some details. Maybe come in with the sort of circular brush. And 